Hi guys, my name is Shubhang Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to talk about GE Advanced 2020 Paper 2 and question number 10. This is a multiple correct type question. The question says, option A, SnCl2.2H2O is a reducing agent. So we know that due to inert pair effect, Sn plus 2 readily converts to Sn plus 4 and therefore it uh, loses electrons. That means it does act as a strong reducing agent. Absolutely true. SnO2 in plus 4 oxidation state combines with KOH to form K2SnOH6. So this is also correct statement. Why? Because SnO2 is amphoteric in nature. So amphoteric oxides can dissolve uh, in base forming complex systems. Third, a solution of PbCl2 in HCl contains Pb2 plus NCl minus. So we know that when Pb2 plus reacts with HCl, it does form PbCl2 as a precipitate, but this is a sparingly soluble salt. It is partially soluble. That means there will always be Pb2 plus and Cl minus present in the solution. And hence this statement is also correct. Next, the reaction of Pb3O4 with hot dilute nitric acid to give PbO2 is a redox reaction. Uh, let me take this on the next page. So when we talk about Pb3O4 guys, it is essentially a mixed oxide where we have PbO2 and two times PbO. That is plus two as well as plus four oxidation state. Now, when this reacts with HNO3, we know that it's a non-redox reaction. PbO gives you Pb, lead plus 2 gives you lead nitrate and lead plus 4 remains as it is, gives you a brown precipitate or a chocolate brown precipitate. Thick. So Let's go back to our question. The reaction of Pb3O4 with dilute nitric acid to give uh, PbO2 is a redox reaction. No, it's a non-redox reaction. So, this is not the answer. Okay, guys. So the answer is A, B and C. Stay tuned guys for the next question and thank you so much.